so hands on part related to scalar functions that is also string functions yeah what is the first function ascii what is the use of ascii it will display ascii value of given character so let us check ascii of any character from jewel then it shows the ascii value of small a is 97 if it is capital a it is 65 <coughs> yeah suppose let me submit any other symbol other than these alphabets 64 at the rate symbol ascii value is 64 yeah next function what is how can i find out length of given string length function so let us say voila, welcome and from julia it will display length of welcome seven character length and i want to see employee name and length of each employee name select length of e name here e name is a column name don't specify it in single quotes so e name comma length of e name from emp ordered by <coughs> e name i want to see the alphabet colored employee names and here it is saying each employee name length it is displaying now <coughs> init cap what is init cap yeah select init cap of so say if i am submitting dinesh from joyal so first character should be converted into capital the in dinesh word first character is displayed in capital remaining characters are in small case characters yeah <coughs> here if the string is ha if the string is having dinesh or if the string is having more than one word then what is happening welcome to durga soft so now what is happening check it out each word beginning character is displaying in capital case each word beginning character displayed in capital case yeah and the next one <coughs> next function is i want to display complete value in capitals then upper so then all characters in the function will be displayed in capital case suppose if you want to display the given value in small case let us say i want to see all employee names in small case characters so let me give you if you want to see the given value or column values in lower case then use the function lower here see actual values from the table and converted values of this column so e name is invalid from emp here you are using a column name so you should specify table name now see here actual employee names in the table is capital case characters after conversion they are displaying in lower case yeah <coughs> next what is the sub str next function sub str sub str of let us say secure comma 3 comma 4 from jewel what is this sub str sub string will display a part from the given string okay in that given string it will go to it will move to this character from the beginning from the beginning it is moving to third character from third character next from third character including third character okay from third character next four characters it will take so it is displaying cure yeah <coughs> let me give you some other one welcome to oracle functions 
okay this is my now say here it is taking from third character okay l c o m l come next four characters if you specify the beginning position but not specifying ending position i am not specifying ending position in that case then it will display from third character till the end of line it will display from third character till the end of line it will display this is sub str next one in str in str stands for in string okay so what is the use of in str it is used to find out the position of given character the position of given character within the string see i am not specifying the position of e either from beginning or ending next uh, which occurrence of e this is also i am not specifying by default it is looking for first occurrence of e from the beginning of string by default it is looking for first occurrence of e from the beginning of string see from the beginning of string what is the first occurrence this what is the position in this string 2 okay so this is similar to this this example remember plus 1 yeah and i am looking for first occurrence plus 1 indicates search is from beginning and the last digit 1 indicates first occurrence of e same answer you will get if you want to see the same thing from the end of the string from the ending i am looking for first occurrence say here 7 so from the ending looking for first occurrence this is the first occurrence so what is the position of this e 7 suppose if i am looking for second occurrence f from ending 2 if i am looking for third occurrence 0 remember why it is 0 there is no third occurrence of e that's why it is displaying 0 okay this is about in str so str is taking sub string from the given string in str is finding nth occurrence of given character either from beginning or ending now translate what is translate translate of here welcome and i want to replace em with the characters ab so from jewel see here at the place of e it is displaying capital a at the place of m you are getting capital b okay suppose <coughs> if i am missing second character in the target then for e for e the character a is there translating character for m there is no character in such case m is eliminated from output em is eliminated from the output c so actually c o m we actually it has to display m but m is no, skipped here why because there is no character to translate for m that's why yeah this is translate next one replace so replace of here same welcome and i want to replace c o m e with some other sis whatever it is or otherwise a b c okay from joel what is happening well a b c here replace function doesn't worry about number of characters in the source and number of characters in the target actually here four characters in the source here three characters in the target it doesn't worry about it simply these four character word replaced with the three character word suppose 
I want to replace the COME with X then simply it will display well X okay <coughs> this is about to translate and replace next one trim let me remove the screen trim what is trim select to trim off multiple spaces I am using 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay welcome 1 2 3 4 5 right comma one more function I am using init cap of 2 or I can from dual what is happening trim function removes blank spaces before and end of the string trim function removing blank spaces before and end of the string here before welcome the spaces are eliminated after welcome the spaces are eliminated <coughs> and there is a single space between first output and second output because two function outputs are separated with a single space remember now in case if I use L trim what will happen at the place of trim just I want to use L trim in this case <coughs> it removes the blank spaces only from left side of string it removes blank spaces only from left side of string okay if you are using R trim at the place of trim let me use R trim okay and apply remaining part then it removes the spaces only from right side from right side there are no spaces but from the left side same spaces are maintaining yeah this is about to trim by default removing blank spaces before and the end of the string whereas if you have a character and you want to remove that character either from beginning or ending or from both sides by using trim function and by using trim keywords you can do that trim off here leading yeah don't use leading is a keyword leading exposition from specify the string some expositions and at last you have multiple expositions from jewel so leading the character the keyword leading removes the char the keyword leading removes the specified character from the left side of string in that removal process if it find out any different character here there is a different character a after four times of x there is a whenever it is finding a different character it will stop the removal remember see <coughs> okay next only from left side it is removing if you want to remove same kind of character from ending then trailing then it will remove that from trailing back means right side of the string the character X will be removed if you want to remove the same character from both sides then use the keyword both from jewel that's it and the next one is this is about trim L trim R trim and also trim with keywords so let me discuss about L pad and R pad what is L pad yeah select L pad of given string suppose welcome and in the left side of welcome I want to print this character how many number of characters you want to print so here 
I am specifying 15 from Jewel. So it is saying invalid number. So means actually number has to be specified here and character should be specified at ending. See in the left side of welcome it is displaying not 15 stars it is displaying below 15 stars means it is saying only 8 stars why it is so so actually the string the given string has to be adjusted for 15 positions from left side again from the left side of the screen in the output from the left side of the screen the string has to be adjusted for 15 positions but in this given string only we have 7 positions if it was adjusted to 15 positions the left side remaining positions should be look like blank but I don't want to see the blank character so I want to fill that blanks with star now at the place of L pad if you use R pad so except 7 positions remaining 8 positions filled with star in the right side of the string but I want to see the same thing from both sides how it is then L pad of and here R pad so on so this is the input string to the L pad comma and you want to see um, 15 23 here already 15 positions occupied by the result of R pad so eliminating 15 positions I want to see in the left side I want to see 8 stars so 15 plus 8 23 comma what is the symbol you want to see star from Julian see here right <coughs> So this is what about string functions.